Then when we go into structures, we ask ourselves, so why are these structures important? What are those structures? And we list them. So what are those government structures, those religious ones, the medical ones, warehouses, bridges, markets, seaports, and airports? And once again, we just it's just listing, doing some open source research, whether it's through the open source internet, uh, but just listing what you find in that given operational area that's already been dictated to you. Slide, please. Then the C for capabilities. We ask, what are those capabilities that are resident in the area of operations? And that's where we have the SWAT MSO acronym with, you know, we look at the sewer capabilities, water, electricity, those academic um, educational capabilities. Uh, do they have the ability to, to pick up trash? Uh, what is that medical cap capability, any security or any other things um, that we can describe as capabilities? Slide. Then the O for organization. You know, what are the different groups in that area? Not just political fashions, but international organizations, non-government uh, organizations, different social groups, the religions and the, the very specific religious organizations within them. What are those media groups that are there and any criminal groups that you find within there? Slide, please. Then we go on to the people. We ask ourselves, so how do the people organize and interact? You know, who are those political leaders, the religious leaders? And, and you in at this point, you, you can, you know, you name people um, and it's just names. Once again, no, no biography yet on who these people are, but just who are the leaders? Who are the community leaders, the business leaders, your community professionals, and, you know, your, your uh, education professionals, law and military, who who are the people that interact in this area? Slide, please. And then finally, events. When and what are the events that are important to these people to include holidays, carnivals, so any sort of festivity, religious celebrations, non-religious celebrations, you know, weather events, harvest periods, you know, migratory events, etc. And just just listing them, correlating them with with you know calendars. Next slide, please. So then, as you can see here, you know, it's it's an organization, it's an information gathering opportunity, right? And we're we're just looking at all these things, uh, just just to get lists at a bare minimum. It's the baseline, you know, just to help us focus on the information that we want to. Because right now, living in the information age, there's a lot of stuff out there, and especially if you're in the military, many times you're just very enemy focused. So having a scope be something that guides you with specific civil considerations helps you focus your efforts and also possibly keeps you from having you know some of those military biases where you you see things as enemy uh, no we're just seeing an area you know uh, the the area in the area of operations the structures the capabilities organizations etc what is there um, is what we're looking at am i moving too fast by chance no, I think at the perfect pace you're going. Fine, just continue like this. Thanks. Okay, great. Thank you. Next slide, please. All right. So once again, uh, Ascope and Misi, um, we're gathering information with this tool, and if time permits, right, um, then we refine it, and then that's where we then use the operational variables of Misi: political, military, economic, social, and information and infrastructure uh, variables of the operational environment. We want to know how are these relevant to local, the local population, and also how are they relevant to us as, as a military uh, people that are going to that area. Next slide, please. So then when we talk about political, you know, political operational variables, it, it describes the distribution of responsibility and power at all levels of government to include that political structure, both the formal one that's maybe already been established or an informal one that you can't clearly pinpoint. So examples, questions you could ask yourself, you know, to, to try and figure out how to list these political variables are, you know, are, are the tribes. So if you were in Senegal, for example, are the tribes traditionally as important as the Senegalese government, are they seen that way uh, as important? Um, is the gov or does the government lack capability or capacity? Um, it, are there 
politicized personnel appointments or you know what is the mechanism for solving social disputes and once again you know it's it's just a list next slide please then you look at the military the military describes and includes those military capabilities of all security forces you know so that, that includes the host nation military that includes any sort of insurgents that are there local militia that's found within that area and even the police force even though they they are not military but certain guiding questions you could ask yourself to continue to to list those things you know are you know what is the art you know does the army face what's the army face within the government security forces do they lack popular support well, you know how are they viewed by by the people are they corrupt um is there corruption or politicized um or just you know that might help you guide your analysis later on but mo more importantly it's just just finding out what what those military facets are within that area next slide please then when we come to economic we talked about you know the this variable consists of general economic categories in the area of operations specifically you know energy raw materials labor distribution income and food distribution goods and services or illicit markets you know is there uh it you know is the contraction of legal economy what's the legal economy look like um what's the ownership in land or what are the ownership and land conflicts um and what's the percentage of the population that works in traditional agriculture next slide please then we move to the s for social uh, the social variable describes the societies within an operational environment, such as a population whose members are subject to the same political authority, occupy a common territory, and have a common culture and share a sense of identity. Um, so later on in analysis, you can ask yourself these questions. Uh, is there destruction or decay of basic services, uh, destruction or flight of human resources, or declining social indicators? Um, is there an increase um, in IDPs and refugees? Uh, but in general, yeah, you're, you're looking at that population and the members of it. Next slide, please. And then the I, the first I for information. This involves the collection, access, use, manipulation, distribution, and reliance on data, media, and knowledge systems, both civilian and military, uh, by those local communities. So is information passed through word of mouth? Uh, what's that main medium? Is it newspaper? Is it uh, social media, uh, cell phones, radios, etc.? How how do people um, get their information? Is the focus of this one? Next slide, please. Then we go to the second I, which is infrastructure. Infrastructure variable. It includes the base facilities and services and installations needed for a community or a society just to function, and it's anything from those you know, very rudimentary um, transportation networks, um, electricity, you're looking at the electricity there. Are there, you know, is there access to the A pods and S pods? So what is that actual infrastructure in that area look like? Next slide, please. So then as you can see, you know, that you get your A scope your, and your PMISI and you combine these lists so whatever you got so for example for areas right you can put an area box and then you try and see if you can also match it up with one of those um, operational variables um, in in PMISI and then once again right now you're just focusing on putting words you know lists in each one of these blocks to see you know uh, what what you know to, to, to kind of set the framework for later on analysis that you're going to do but as you can see uh, in the Marine Corps, civil military operations or civil affairs Marines use this tool um, as the beginning um, in their efforts to start understanding the operational area just by noting what's there in preparation for further analysis.